Welcome everyone to the morning show. We hope your Friday is off to a great start. We're going to take you to the village of Tilton where they're growing in size. There's new businesses coming to town and the city is also working on improving their infrastructure. So we have our Madison Shady who had a chance to sit down with Bill Ware. Together they're going to share what's new in this week's Meet the Mayor. Well, thank you so much for joining me on this uh, Meet the Mayor segment, Bill. Uh, how have you been doing? Oh, I've been doing fine. It's, it, it's a pleasure to be on here with you. Awesome. So uh, you wanted to talk about some of the new businesses coming to town. I'm seeing like Longview Bank, uh, Country Financial. So what, what do these new businesses mean for the community? Uh, Longview Bank and Country Financial have opened. Uh, it means a lot to our community. Most small communities have a bank and it kind of identifies them. Longview came in, wanted to put in a bank, so now we have an identity. Years back, we had Old National Bank, and they closed up their branch here. So our our citizens were without a bank close by. So it, that means a lot to us. Uh, I was just over there talking to them yesterday, and they've had over, in the last couple of weeks, over 200 people come in and sign up. So people are taking advantage of having a bank close at hand. It seems like you also have a couple of car dealerships that are. Coming. Yeah, uh, uh, I can't really talk too much about it because it's still in the process of uh, negotiating a deal. But we have two car dealerships committed to coming to Tilton. It'll be down on Georgetown Road uh, across from, well, basically across from Toyota. And then looks like finally you've got some, uh, looks like Culver's and a couple of restaurants and other stuff coming. Culver's, I just talked to the franchise owner a week ago. Uh, so everybody out there that lives in Tilton that keeps asking the question, he's still coming. He got tied up in some other business dealings around Muhammad and Rantoul, but he's still coming. We're in talks with two other restaurants to try to get them here. And I've sent stuff out to numerous businesses and a couple of them's kind of showed interest, but they haven't really committed yet. So what has this process been like? You know, we've let, I know last year you had the new dispensary come in, and that's been a big hit. What's what's it been like trying to get all these new businesses to come in? But actually, it's been it's been kind of exciting. I mean, uh, I'm not a marketing guy. I came out of labor force, so it was an all new experience for me. Uh, me and Tiffany Jones McCollum, which is the village administrator, we sat down and we created a packet. In this packet, we showed available property, told a little bit about the town, and we started sending these packets out. And I also started making phone calls to different restaurants. Everybody tells you what they would like to have, so it kind of gives you an idea what you can search for. So I'm searching for restaurants and different businesses that everybody's wanting to have out here. So it's, it's been exciting. I mean, it's been a learning curve. So you guys have a 4th of July uh, events going on. What can you tell me about that? Endless Summer, which is a band from out of Indianapolis, they play older style music. Uh, they're going to be at Thomas Park. It's free to anybody who wants to come. Afterwards, we also will have fireworks. But during the celebration, American Legion Post 210 Baseball is going to be having a tournament at Carl Gruber Park. So if you enjoy baseball, want to see some fireworks and listen to some music, you can combine all three right here. Uh, Post 210 is a great organization, and it's up-and-coming baseball players that I'm sure a lot of people know. Is there anything else that you'd like to talk about, Tilton? Anything you'd like to brag about? Oh, there's a lot of things to brag about, Tilton. Uh, here recently, we just... Uh, hired three new police officers, two of them's in at the training center right now. That'll bring us up to 10 full-time police officers in our community. Uh, our fire department, the, they've increased the numbers of people that are participating in a volunteer fire department. They've kind of hooked up with different instructors from the University of Illinois. They're getting premium training. The ambulance service, uh, we're getting ready to, an architect is drawing up plans right now. We bought a house last year next to the fire station. We've turned that into living quarters and the office for the ammo service. We're getting ready, the architect's drawing up plans for bays for an extra bay for the fire department and enough bays to house the ambulances that'll be connected to that house. So we're moving. We're, I mean, we're a little town, but we got a lot going on. 
All righty, Madison, thank you so much for this interview. And of course, we thank Mayor Ware as well. Now, the village, we've learned, is getting a new sewer plant, a $19 million project that's almost completed. And Mayor Ware told us that the plant is online now, so all they have to do is finish the construction. And so, again, you can see this interview, along with other Meet the Mayors that we have, all on our website, 